Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and on today's show, I got the latest news, a juicy rumor, and if you want to come on the Raiders Report, make sure you watch until the very end. Let's get in now to that news I was talking about. You got Daniel Ross, the newest member of the Las Vegas Raiders, and he also, he was a former Cowboy, so Ross is going to reunite on the defensive line with new DL coach Rod Marinelli, and the one thing that I've learned from the Raiders this entire offseason is Apparently, they're pretty interested in former Cowboys. Now, Ross does have a little bit of a past, but hopefully, you go, you see what the Raiders have been able to do for a player like a Darren Waller. Hopefully, they can do the exact same for Ross. Now, the details are still TBD. Once I get them, I will update you all on the details. I'm going to guess, though, it's a one-year kind of prove-it deal. But for a lot of you, who is Daniel Ross? It's been a question that has been in my DMs on Instagram, on Twitter. So he spent last season on the IR with a shoulder injury. And he's played for the Cowboys for three seasons, but he also has played with the Texans, the Lions, and the Chiefs. And throughout his entire career, he's played in 16 games, all of which were with the Dallas Cowboys. And if you're looking at where he went to college, Northeast Mississippi Community College. Yeah, but still, he's a big boy up the middle at 27 years old, a 6'4", 300-pounder, who's going to be able to clog up the middle. Now, for those of you that are watching this, I appreciate you all. And for you to stay up to date with all your Raiders news and rumors here at the Las Vegas Report, I promise you, I'm going to keep you up to date. So click that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and if you want to be on the show, make sure you watch until the very end. So what kind of player are we getting? Let's look at some of his numbers from the past four seasons. You're getting somebody who actually does not have a lot of experience, but Rod Marinelli has a lot of confidence in Daniel Ross. That's why you saw this team go out and get him. Now, I think for us, you're just going to hope that he can fill in for P.J. Hall, for Jonathan Hankins, for Malik Collins, for Mo Hurst. When those four guys need a breather, you could go out and put in Ross into the lineup. Now, just because the Raiders went out and signed Ross does not mean that he is going to make the final roster. Let's make that very clear. But with his connections with Rod Marinelli, I don't really think it's that big of a surprise to see Ross back on the squad. So how about this? Raiders report, it's not about me. It's about the nation. In fact, there is only one nation. Shout out to uh, my guys on IG. But seriously, I want you to grade the Daniel Ross signing. Is it an A? Is it a B, D, or is it an F? Throw it in the comment section. And for those of you that are watching this on YouTube, I'm going to make this the pinned comment. So once you get hit with that ad break, go down and vote. Daniel Ross, the Raiders, A, B, C, D, or F. The Raiders have been very active in free agency, but they've also bringing in a ton of old Cowboys players. You brought in Jason Witten. You brought in Malik Collins. You brought in Jeff Heath. And now you're bringing in Daniel Ross. Now, those were the players that they brought back in free agency. However, they're also, they re-signed. Yes, re-signed players that played on the Raiders last year, but these guys were also former Cowboys. So you see Rod Smith, he agreed to that one year deal worth 910 k It's going to be a second season with the team, but it, remember, he played with the Cowboys from 2015 to 2018. Now, sure, he actually did get traded to the Seattle Seahawks in that 2015 year, but they came right back to the Dallas Cowboys in 2018 or in 2015. But guess what? He's not the only one. The Raiders, they have a lot of unsigned free agents. The one that they brought back was Kyle Wilber, who is going to be entering his ninth year in the NFL six of which he's played with the Dallas Cowboys. Yes, he adds depth. He's a great special teams player. Details, the contract are still, you know, TBD, but I'm going to guess it's going to be pretty cheap. And Wilbur, he played in 743 snaps on the field. Over 600 of those, 618 to be exact, were in special teams. But I've been getting asked, Mitch, why are we getting all these Cowboys players? Well, if you want to know why we're getting all these Cowboys players, I'm going to tell you right after I tell you about this deal from our sponsor. So if you're trying to be dad of the year, listen up. Chatsports.com slash Raiders Youth. You can get this Josh Jacobs jersey for under $53. If you want to get this Max Crosby jersey, okay, remember, they are youth jerseys. Be dad of the year for your son, for your daughter. Chatsports.com slash Raiders Youth. But you got to use that promo code LILAC. Found out it's a flower. Save 30% off when you use promo code LILAC at chatsports.com slash Raiders Youth. Again, 
Josh Jacobs, Max Crosby, whole other Raiders jerseys under $53. You're welcome. So let's talk about why we're bringing in a lot of these ex-Cowboys. And the main reason, in my opinion, you hired Rod Marinelli to be the new defensive line coach after Buckner, in my opinion, did a great job. But in Rod Marinelli's very first year with the Cowboys, he went 12-4. and four. And I think when you looked at the Cowboys' defense in 2013, they were historically one of the worst defenses ever. Rod Marinelli, he turned them into a pretty good defense. And then he was the defensive line coach in 2013. And then for the past, what, five, six years, he's been the Cowboys' D.C. and defensive line coach. But it's not only Rod Marinelli. I think Rod Marinelli is the guy that we talk about the most. There's also Rich Bisacci. Yes, it's Bisacci. So he joined the Raiders in 2018. Then he was the Cowboys assistant head coach and special teams coordinator from 2013 to 2017. And I also want to make this note because it's very important because we know how John Gruden is. He was the Bucks special teams coordinator in 2002. Now, why does that matter? Because that's when the Bucks won. Uh, I almost said the World Series. I'm losing my mind without sports. It's when they won the Super Bowl. So who wants a bull prediction? That's what the Raiders report's all about. I'm going to tell you right after this YouTube ad break. All right, let's get into it now. I think Rod Marinelli going to be the defensive coordinator by the end of the year. I'm actually going to give this one to Chucky Heads and people are talking. Guess who's talking? It's me. It's my show. So Gruden has shown that he trusts Marinelli's opinion like a whole bunch. You bring in Jeff Heath. You bring in Malik Collins. You bring in Daniel Ross. You bring in Jason Witten. All these players that respect and have played underneath Marinelli. Plus, another proof. What does John Gruden love? He loves the past. It's a fact. And he knows he can trust Rod Marinelli. Rod Marinelli was the assistant head coach on the Bucs when, guess what? They won the Super Bowl in 2002. Now, obviously, if Rod Marinelli is the new defensive coordinator, that means Paul Gunther... Well, he's getting the boot. And if you have watched the show before, I, I would not be upset about this. I, I'll be honest. I mean, I understand. I always say, oh, we're trying to find defensive players that fit the Paul Gunther system. I'm sorry. You can see up on screen right now in 2019, 24th most points per game. 2018, 32nd most points per game. In 2017, 2016, Paul Gunther's defenses have never been all that great, especially forcing turnovers. But the last two years with the Raiders, it's been hard to watch. So how about this? I'm going to ask you this question. Will Gunther be the Raiders DC by the end of the season? I want you to give me a Y for yes, or I want you to give me an N for no. And for those of you that are typing your N for no, maybe if you want somebody else besides Rod Marinelli, give me some comments and on YouTube and on Facebook. But I'll ask you one more time. Will Gunther be the Raiders DC by the end of the season? Y for yes, N for no. So the Raiders, they've been very, very active in free agency. Here are just four of the players, again, all of which used to be Dallas Cowboys. But these weren't the only signings that the Raiders made. They've actually gone out and gotten 12 players. You added Corey Littleton for three years. It's actually like $35 million. Then you got Nick Kukowski, three years, $21 million. Marcus Mariota, two years, 17.6. 7.5 of which is guaranteed. Carl Nassib, you're going to see him play defensive end and actually linebacker. Really like that player. Eli Apple got a one-year prove-it deal. But then, there, again, there's three more signings. Nelson Aguilar, you can say what you want about him. Sure, he's going to drop some footballs. But for getting a former first-round pick who actually has shown glimpses of being very special for one year, $1.05 million, I think it's a pretty good deal. Then you add Nick O'Leary and Eric Cush. So the Raiders have been, like I've said before, very, very active and free agency so i want you to grade it okay we're going to do it on a scale of zero to 100 so 100 basically means it was great it's the best free agency possible for me i'm going to give it like an 80 percent. i like some of the signings by going out and getting a carl nassib a Corey littleton a nick kakowski but i think one of our biggest glaring needs was wide receiver and only addressing it with nelson aguilar makes me a little concerned however i do think it's going to be a uh, big time wide receiver we're going to go out and get in the nfl draft so for those of you that have made it this far, I appreciate you. And I told you, if you want to get on the show, I want you to pay attention real close. So if you want to get on the Raiders report, I want you to type four for believe it, baby. Or I want you to type zero for tuck rule, tuck that. And I'm going to tell you how you're going to get on the show right after this YouTube ad break. I appreciate everyone who watches my videos to the very end. So as promised, if you want to get on the Raiders report, 
DM me on Instagram at MitchellRens365, but you got to DM me the word feature. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do. And again, if you want to get on the show, slide in my DMs, DM me the word feature. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.